Hello everyone, this is John White from GSP. Welcome to the seventh lecture of this IC streaming. Today we'll be simulating a case that has to do with the text um, changer. And the learning outcome is just to operate a heat exchanger operation in ICs and to model the heat transfer process. Now the prerequisite that to start high seas and all these if you find that you cannot do any of these you should refer to the previous lectures. In fact, I would advise you to start from the very first lecture then till you get here. Now here's the problem statement. Hot water at 250 degrees Celsius and 1000 psi G is used to heat a cold stream of water in a shell and tube heat exchanger. So we'll be using a shell and tube heat exchanger. The inlet temperature and pressure of the cold stream is 25 degrees Celsius and 130 psi G respectively. The outlet temperatures of the cold stream and the hot streams are 150 degrees C and 190 degrees C respectively. If the flow rate of the hot stream is 100 kg per hour, that's the mass flow rate. Determine the flow rate of the cold stream passing through the HSP, that's where the FP, and the fluid package is shut in. The fluid package should be um, SRP, that's the soft reddish cone. So let's go to our high seas. I will start a new case. to add just water since water is the only component that will be so I guess you know the drone how they move to the free package we add the SRK Same thing with the inlet cold water. 
Slide now, problem says um, determine the flow rate of the cold stream passing through the heat exchanger. So, this is the cold stream, the flow rate would be this is the mass flow rate 54.23 kilogram per hour. So, that's that, that's what we need to do. That's all for the lecture for today's lecture. So, I think we have. This is the process we just went through. Now, the problem here is if the flow rate of the cold stream is 100 kg per hour, determine the rate of the hot stream passing through the heat exchanger. What is the amount of heat transfer from the hot stream to the cold stream? Okay, so we just come to the heat exchanger here. Our worksheet, of course. We don't know. From the equation, we have to delete the mass flow of the inlet hot water because that's what we are looking for now. Then we come to the inlet cold water and specify 100 according to the problem statement. So now we can see it's solved, and the temperature of the hot fluid is 184.4 kg per hour. So this is the performance of the uh, heat exchanger. We are, are assuming that there is zero heat loss. So the amount of heat transfer is this. This is the UA. This is the amount of heat transfer from the hot stream to the cold stream. So I think we are done with the program for today. Come to the end of this lecture, so kindly do well to practice. 
thank you for coming to this lecture for attending this lecture rather then also give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my youtube channel once again i'm john white from genius creed